Hey everyone, I just fed my roommates, and I don't know if you can hear them, but Yip Yip is eating. Alright, it is Wednesday, and here, whoops, I just dropped you guys. Here is my Wednesday poll. Um, I didn't get that much stuff, thankfully. Um, apparently my local comic book store is upset that DC, in their infinite wisdom of how the hell do we beat up a dead horse besides, I don't know. They're <sighs> okay, let me see if I can explain this. I believe, now I may be wrong because it's been a while, I believe that a long time ago there was DC, and DC and Marvel had these rules that they couldn't do certain things, and there was like a, this guideline thing. And then... Um, people left DC so they could do their own stuff and they created Image and so DC had to do something so they created um, Vertigo so they could break the rules. And then Vertigo died. I think there was a woman who was in charge of it and she was like like the best. She, They said, you know, whatever she touched was gold. But then she left them, I guess. I don't know if there was a fallout or something. She's still, she's still ed editing, she's still doing all that stuff, but she's doing it for herself now under a different publisher. So, Vri uh, not Vri um, uh, Vertigo died, went away, goodbye, and then DC and Marvel stopped playing by the rules, and so they put everything in there. I mean, if you want to see Bat Penis, you can see Bat Penis now. I don't know why you would want to, but there you go. And then they started to try to bring back Vertigo. But there's no reason for it, because there's no rules anymore. So now Vertigo is the home of, I don't know, pedophiles or um, women who are promiscuous to get good reviews, allegedly. Allegedly. It, it's, it's a, Vertigo has become a sexually deviant world. And I think it's fine if you're living in your bedroom, but when you're out, out in public, I don't think it's a good time to say, hey, guess what? I like to do weird things in the bedroom. That's just me, okay? It's just me. But, um, so now they got this new comic book, and it's about where Jesus failed, and now there's a new superhero that's um, going to save things. At the, I think it's called Second Coming. And so Vertigo is doing that, and my local comic book store says, we are not putting that in our store. And they didn't ask me, but I would have told them, listen, one, you guys can do whatever you want. I mean, I come here because I want to support you guys, but I could always buy all my comic books online. I could, but I don't want to. If you want to make a stand, I just think it's wrong that DC is making you make a stand. DC should not have anything to do with this. A religious book about the second coming and how Jesus failed and how God's mad should be on an indie title. It shouldn't be on DC. It shouldn't be on Vertigo. It shouldn't be anywhere. It should be on an indie that no one knows about, and it shouldn't, it shouldn't be a big deal. But DC wants to sell comic books. They want to be outrageous. They want to offend. They want to do this. And So now my local comic book store is upset with DC, but whatever. All right, here's my pool. I, got, of course, got Detective Comics. Again, I think the only reason why I buy these is so I can still say I'm a comic book person because um, I don't read them. But it's a countdown to 1,000, which is going to suck. We all know it's going to suck. Firefly, number three. I think there's one more coming out, and then it'll be over. Um, I haven't read it, but I'm assuming it's going to be the same as before. You know, the same story about how Mal and... What is her name? I forget it right now. I'm terrible with names. Um, how they're going to, I don't know, get these pilgrims to their promised land and they're not going to kill anyone. That's my, my theory. That's what I think is going to happen. They're not going to kill anyone. Scrimshaw, Volume 2, Episode 1. I have no clue what this is about. I don't care what this is about. This is Alterna Comics. I'm very happy. I'm very excited. If I need to do some research to figure it out, I will do research to figure it out. But I love it. I love it. And then Army of Darkness. I did not pull this. I went to the store and I saw it. And the the shopkeeper was like, Ugh, can't go wrong with Army of Darkness. Looks like it's a one-shot. It's a Halloween special. And I just picked it up. Because even though it was 
How much? Five bucks. Even though it was five bucks, I had to get it. I'm sorry. I'm a sucker for these stupid, stupid... I mean, you put ash on something, and I'm like, I'm there. I just recently re-saw the original, and the way that they just call him Ashley, like, hey, it, it's nothing. Like, hey, Ashley. He's like, yeah, what's up? I was like, dude, you're Ash. You're not Ash. But back then, he was Ashley. He was not Ash yet. He's like the best superhero, evil villain, evil character, evil everything. Sorry, my roommate's here. He's just the best. I guess that means that we're out of our five minutes. We're way beyond it, so I gotta go. Um, keep on reading comic books. Read what you like. Don't read what you don't like. Um, but if you don't, if you read something you don't like, please bash it on YouTube. That's why YouTube is here to bash. With peace and love, we are out of here. Deuce to the face. Toot toot toot. Bye bye. Do the hand thing. 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 Do the hand thing.